Yogina, it's a fresh sweatshirt. Is it new? Yeah, I bought it yesterday on Shein. I paid for five sweatshirts, 20 euros. Oh. That's so cheap. I ordered that too. It's super cool and trendy. Yeah. Well, you know, the shirts are cool and everything, but fast fashion really isn't it. What's fast fashion? The important thing is the clothes are nice and cheap. Well, fast fashion isn't good for the environment. Fast fashion. Fast fashion is the mass production of cheap clothes, so that the people can react quickly to new trends. Now ask yourself where's the problem? Brands such as Primark, New Yorker, and Hendem produce clothes cheaply and quickly. Of course for buyers it is practical, but who produced these clothes and where did they come from? Often these products come from Bangladesh and Pakistan. The workers there are paid very little and the working conditions are extremely poor. The conditions being that the workplace is badly ventilated, has many toxic chemicals, and a far higher noise level. Besides that, fast fashion's water consumption and environmental effects are also very negative. Children are commonly used as workers which is frequently concealed by the company. On average workers work 10 to 12 hours per day with a wage of 20 euro cents per hour. Many people do not know these things. That these products come from countries such as China and Pakistan, which is a long way away from us. It is also very environmentally harmful. There is a high CO2 emission rate during transportation. So think twice if you want to go shopping. So, let's look what fast fashion is. Oh my god. Mom and come here fast. Look what we buy. Oh my god. Maybe we should listen to Lily next time. What do yes, you think? I think also maybe this clothes made by kids. The world is so connected that our goods are produced in countries with bad working conditions. The new human right article 5 is so important for everyone so that we can and will buy products produced in accordance with human rights. I walked around the supermarket and I'm really in the mood for some strawberries. These look great. Everyone has the right to be offered only those goods and services that are produced and provided in accordance with universal human rights. But these strawberries, I don't think they're produced in those conditions. In winter, you can often find a lot of fruits, for example, strawberries, mangoes, even if they grow only in summer. How is it that we can buy fruits from Spain, Mexico or Morocco? The reason is the import and export of fruits. These countries export the fruits to Germany so that we can buy them in winter. But is that really fair? It all starts with picking the strawberries in the field. In Morocco, for example, the workers get 7 euros per day. In Germany, the workers get more per day, which means that in Morocco, they're forced to go to Spain so they can feed their family. In Germany, the workers currently get 9 euros and 82 cents since January 1st, 2022. In Morocco, workers receive 6 euros and 14 cents. The workers are poorly paid and have to work very hard. After they pick the strawberries, they are transported by plane to other countries. This is also very exhausting and there are a lot of exhaust gases, also due to long transport routes. It is really necessary for us to buy strawberries and other fruits from the south.